Good morning. This is MLB Central. The homer and three RBI in last night's win. Welcome to the big leagues. He's got all the tools. Boom. Two of the best offenses back at it tonight. That's how you begin a season. Welcome. Thanks for joining us from wherever you're joining us, either on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, or on our Twitch page. I'm Robert Flores, one of our one of the hosts of MLB Central. The MLB Central season gets underway on opening day this Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern. And I'm pleased to be joined by my co-hosts, Mark DeRosa and Lauren Shahadi to help Woo! me with this MLB Central, MLB <laughs> Network game night, MLB Central Division. It's edition. It is Dero. It is Lauren. You look great. Absolutely, you look great. How you doing? I was talking to Dero. Dero, you look great. <laughs> you look absolutely great. Well, you I mean, you had a choice, Robert, right? There was a lot of sweatpants involved at home with the kids, and you had to make an, a conscious effort. Am I going to gain 15 pounds? Right. I'm just going to stay in the fight because I know eventually we're getting back to opening day. So I stayed in the fight for both of you. Still on the celery juice hardcore. Are you really? <laughs> Lauren, it's a game changer for me. I don't understand why. I don't know. It soothes my gut. I don't know why either, but it works. <laughs> All right. We've so this is what for 15 <laughs> seconds. We've already used the word gut. Right. This is what's going to happen. All right. So this is we're going to do kind of a potpourri of trivia. There's also going to be some drawing involved. And we want you guys to get involved. When I say you, not Dero and Lauren, because they're already involved, but you from wherever you're watching us from, no matter what device you're watching us. So if you got some comments, if you got some questions, put them in here. The best ones will make the stream. All right. We're also going to have a special guest. So that's uh, something very special. We want to yeah. remind you. So, yeah, very special guest. Hey, we want to remind you that coming up this Thursday, of course, it's opening day. So let's get you set of what, what's going to happen over the next couple of days. All right. First of all, tomorrow night, Lauren is hosting a women in baseball show. That's going to be on the network tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Eastern. Lauren is hosting that. And then also on Wednesday at 9 o'clock Eastern, it's our prediction show. So all of the analysts, some of the anchors making predictions for the 2021 show. Then on opening day, intentional talk with a new co-host, Stephen Nelson. That gets the day started at 9 a.m. Eastern. And then that leads into us, our opening edition, the season premiere of MLB Central. Lauren and Dero, Lauren, starting with you first. How often do you get asked, hey, is Central coming back? When is Central coming <laughs> All <the time>. back? <laughs> All the time. Got to wait till opening day. Duh. Yeah. Dero? It's it's funny. I get asked it a lot. A bottom line. But, the, but I think what I love about our show, listen, I'd love to do it 12 months a year. Lauren, she does a great job on Hot Stove, kind of picking it up in the offseason mm -hmm. with Maddie V and Harold. But for me, it kind of gives me a nice chance to look at the network and look at the game from 30,000 feet and then yeah. come back. Like, I'm excited. For me, it's first day of school on Thursday. For yeah. a lot of people, you guys have been working year-round. So, I mean, get, I hope you drink enough Starbucks because I'm <laughs> – Thursday, it's go time again. Robert, I called Dero the other day. I said, you ready? He said, Shahadi, we got to give the people what they want. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Get the red light, Robert. Hey, and Robert here on Facebook, uh, chiming in. Roflo, we all know you're going to carry the freight. Honestly, Robert, I can't. <laughs> I can't with a carry the freight. It, it, it hasn't, you know, it, it, it season hasn't already <laughs> start, hasn't started and I'm already carrying the freight. Honest. So. How many days a month? Have you worked the last six months? Let's just start there. I feel like I see you a lot, actually. Like, yeah, I did work a lot. A lot of Gen Pop appearances. A lot of Gen Pop. Probably, mm -hmm. probably a good 20, 25 hours per week. So, <laughs> <I can't. laughs> All right. So once again, here's the rules. It's a potpourri trivia game, okay? MLB Central themed. We're going to have some visual clu cu uh, clues, excuse me, trivia questions, and one round where the audience will determine determine the winner, okay? And as I mentioned, we've got a special guest, okay? So, Lauren, let's start with you. This question is for you. Who was the first player to ever sit on the crushed red velvet? Ooh. 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 I don't know if I know this. Uh, was it the bringer of rain? 
Was it the bringer of rain? Yes, it was. April 7th, 2015, a day after opening day. Josh Donaldson, the first player to visit the crushed red velvet. That is a point for I'm gonna, Warren. I'm going to take half a point because I obviously set that up. <laughs> you probably did. Up. You said you didn't even know. You probably <laughs> did. All right, D-Row, this question is for you. All right. Who delivered this quote on MLB Central? Let's see. Let's let's say here it is. If I throw a strike, nobody talks about it. If I hit the cameraman, we're on CNN all day. Who said it? Um, what? I don't remember that. You do? Okay. I don't. Hold on. Give, we'll, we'll, we'll let uh, Lauren potentially have a chance to steal. Let's give Dero a little bit more time. If I hit the cameraman, we're on CNN all day. Well, no current players watching CNN. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, John Smoltz? Is it John Smoltz? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Lauren Shahadi, you have a chance to steal. Can you give me like a year? No. Um, let's see. Give me a ballpark. Is it an analyst? It was in the mid-20s. <laughs> oh, man. It was a handful of year ago, uh, years ago. John Lester? Have an answer? Did we just lose Robert? He froze. We lost him. We've no? honest, no. honestly, we've lost him long ago. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Florida friend hey, Drew, Drew oh, I'm God. phoning you right now. I have no idea who that is. Lauren, I would have said Carlos Gomez for first guess. Carlos Gomez. I was remember thinking John Lester. Do you remember when he was in the tent? Sean Casey had him in that, <laughs> that camping. With that and camp he was like, such a good sport. That's what we said. What's the best thing about being Carlos Gomez? And we're back. And we're back. You got me? Yeah. yeah. We're okay. Did you did you come up with an answer, Lauren? Uh, you got to steal? No, I, I guess John Lester. No? Nope. That is incorrect. The correct answer is 50 Cent back on... 2016, he said that. He was referencing his pitch on 20, in 2014 at City Field. Do you guys remember that? Yes, I do. Okay. Embarrassing. All right. So no points there. One right. nothing. Me. This now is open to both of you, okay? Which player delivered a pie into the face of Malik Smith when he was chatting with us in 2018, Chris Archer. Chris Archer. back on ballpark Chris Archer. camp. Chris Archer, Chris Archer. I don't mm. know if that was Chris Archer. That Kevin is incorrect. Kiermaier? That is Kevin incorrect. Kiermaier? Zero. It wasn't Chris Archer. He was on the Rays. Yeah, I can picture it too. It was Carlos Gomez. Ding, 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 ding. That is correct. Carlos Gomez with the, pie the face of he Malik Smith in 2018. Oh, 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 what, what was that? <laughs> What? Uh, so really a about that. We didn't see we it. Wow. it. We didn't see it. it. Carlos Gomez. That's what he does. He hides in the give you a towel? Coming out on that's, central. That's what's going on in our clubhouse. Y'all want to know what's going on in the clubhouse? Wow. That's how we feel right, right now. Max Scherzer. Right. He better right. be having breakfast. Right. Someone get him this a towel. This is hey now. This now, is pregame pie. Okay? Yeah. Tell. So that was back in 2018. Right. My favorite Carlos Gomez moment on MLB Central when I asked him, what's the best thing about being Carlos Gomez? And he replied, being Carlos Gomez. Yeah. You see that score on the bottom? That's right. So Lauren has jumped out to a 2 lead over Mark DeRosa here on MLB Network Game Night, MLB Central Edition. Keep those comments coming either on Facebook, on Twitter, on our YouTube channel. All right, so we move on. Robert, you now, look good. Your skin looks flawless. Always does. It's unbelievable. I, I had a little bit of uh, uh, some some cream and then some new kind of stuff. I'll, I'll talk to you offline about that. D-Row, you can get on, on, on that as I well. 40. All right. Getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I think it's fair to say oh. that uh, that titles of my book are an amazing and a very, very popular little segment on MLB Central. Right, Lauren? You would agree with that? Absolutely. Agree. Yes. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We've got a multiple choice question. All right. Your job is to determine which book title 
is the fake one. Okay. We're going to put up a list and you're going to try to determine which one is fake. All right. First up, lose hard. Second one, out in left field. Don't stand so close or monster under the bridge. Which book title is the fake one? Lauren, you can go first. <laughs> Lose hard. <laughs> Walk hard to Dewey Cox. I've been trapped never playing that game that. they put in Tyler Flowers. So if you're going to lose, lose hard and set yourself up to rebound in the next game. It's just mm. one of those count as two. Lose hard, known. of course, the title of my upcoming book, which is uh, <laughs> kind of the philosophy I've carried. Oh, hey, uh, Matty V's uh, not here. He's playing a little tennis. Little is the key word. Yes, very little. I, I don't think you're supposed to stand that close. By the way, stand, not stand that close. That's also the title of my upcoming book. <laughs> and we want to remind you, it's Shark Week on Discovery. And tonight on Discovery <laughs> Channel, you got Monster Under the Bridge, 8 o'clock <laughs> Eastern. By the way, that's the title of my upcoming book. <laughs> All right, it's a very, very popular bit. Okay, so the fake one was lose oh. hard. But I could see why, Lauren, you would guess that one because I'm looking at that, and that just sounds like a book title. No, right Out in Left there. Field was the fake one. Yes, Out in Left Field. Nice out try. in Left Field was the which fake is, one. Which is the real title. Of your book. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I, we're off the rails here. Oh I'm a very, I'm, I'm not. I knew, I knew Monster Under the Bridge was definitely 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 okay dero now oh, your turn all right your turn see. can you spot the fake one dero the first one look at the size of that mic that's not fake <laughs> okay a couple of thrusters that's not fake either playing hardball or keep your tush under you which playing, book title is hardball. not fake? playing hardball is correct <laughs> Correct answer for Mark DeRosa. Dero is on the board. Same, we haven't Check this seen out. It in a while. We're yeah. calling it mic drop. Uh, now, because of, I mean, look at the size of that mic, which, uh, <laughs> Robert. by the way, the title of my upcoming book. Wait a minute. Getting an update. It's just in. They acquired Aaron Sanchez and Joe Biagini from the International Space Station. Yes, yes. A couple of thrusters that could give them a minor boost. By the way, a couple of thrusters is the title of my upcoming book. <laughs> Keep your rear end under you. Calm the head down. Don't worry about anything else. Let the swag come back from 2015 and try and murder balls to dead center and left center and be on the off-speed stuff. And I just, oh, that, that'd be great. That would be amazing. Yeah, Keep Your Tush Under You is also the title of my upcoming book, so thanks for that. That works know. in a lot, a lot of situations. Yeah, it keep does. Tush Under You. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, this question here from Joe on Facebook. What if Dr. D-Row met, met scuba diving deep dive D-Row? That's a good question. That is which a do you like? Which do you like better, Dr. D-Row or deep dive D-Row? The, uh, um, for the sake of the show, I think Dr. Dero is the better open. I mm -hmm. think that, that was one of some of my best work with Amelia Schimmel. Yep. I'd yep. rather be deep dive Dero. You know that you know the Robinson Caruso type trips I take every year. I know, I know. Have we reshot that open yet for the deep dive? No, and we need to. I had surgery, because surgery on my left pec, and it's had a jammer. I can't hear you guys. <laughs> had a jammer. Can you hear me? Lauren, we can hear you. Can you hear us? I can't hear you guys. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Hmm. We can hear you. Hmm. <laughs> Tell them I can hear them. All right. So Lauren's working that out. Uh, Dero, real quick, while we let Lauren figure out her uh, her technical situation. Yeah. Um, what what storyline as we mm. head into the season? Uh, kind of league-wide, do you think is most interesting uh, to you? There's a couple, Robert. To be honest with you, it it it's time. Like you knew, you know, I got on the Rockies about three or four years ago, and kind yep. of I, there's always a team I kind of want to push and kind of get on their bandwagon for a minute. The spring training Shohei Otani's had has kind of led us to kind of oof, can we see a postseason even a wild card game where Shohei's on the mound and Mike Trout and that'd be great Rendon that's one storyline for me 
how the south side of Chicago, Tony La Russa, Tim Anderson, everything that's around the White Sox, they got a chance to win the whole thing. Eloy Jimenez's injury really, God, yeah. that really. Uh, so I got to tell a quick, can I tell a quick story? We have sure. time? Yeah. So in 2008, about three weeks before I was going to spring training, I was bench pressing and I tore my pec. I obviously did not do the same thing that Eloy Jimenez did, ruptured tendon, he's having surgery. Right. But quick, flew to Chicago the next day, and they were like, oh, we don't think he needs surgery. We think he can get through. I ended up having my best year. Okay. Plus okay. So it's like it was interesting when I first saw that injury. I'm like, oh, he'll be fine. And then it's like, no, he's missing five to six months. So obviously a little bit different. But yeah. Lauren, I asked D-Row, I'm not sure if you heard us, uh, what storyline no. going into the season do you uh, think is most intriguing? A couple of things. I mean, I just think that I always hear D-Row, we always hear him talk about players being creatures of habit. And last year with just a 60-game schedule, like just how pitchers kind of are rejuvenated from it, are they injuries, all that kind of stuff, like the the, the downfall of that and maybe the opposite. Maybe they're more rested, number one. That's I how want, I feel. You think it's the opposite. Well, you remember my Mike Trout experience. That blew up in our face. <laughs> I mean, I almost For all of those who are watching who don't remember it, d told Robert and I that he would sit Mike Trout for one year yeah. um, just to make sure that the, the talent around him was World Series bound. And, and Twitter just, you know. Yeah, that, that, that was uh... – <laughs> There, there was some counseling that was needed after that. So then insertion. last year when we got a 60-game season, D-Row was like, see? See what I mean? See what I mean? So maybe you're right. But what about pitchers? I mean, just in terms of when they ramp up, I mean, everything's yeah. different. So I just wonder about that. Also, I'm in on the Cardinals. I just you think are. in that division, I am. I'm Don't sleep you, on the Brewers. Okay, Brewers. No, I, no, I'm not. I'm actually not. But just with Nolan and and Flaherty, I, he's got an edge. I I feel like the 2019 version with with Adam and and Yachty back. I don't know. There's something really great there. I love their manager. I don't know. I, I keep whenever I I think about and and the Braves for some reason isn't this funny. I don't know why. It's almost like we, we feel like they're. Like I feel like they're still underrated with all that talent, if that's even possible. So those are the two teams I'm looking at. Robert, interesting storyline too. Houston's going to be in front of fans, a spattering of fans. But yeah. still, interesting. I want, to, I want to see how that kind of. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. Hey, thanks for all the uh, the comments uh, here. Uh, uh, we yes. have the MLB Network game night, MLB Central edition. Saint Fan 141 is the NL East. The most competitive division in baseball, Lauren. Not I'm with you. Bottom. Yeah, I, I I think it is uh, the most competitive division in baseball. I have a dark horse pick winning that division, and that's the Washington Nationals. Call me crazy. No, I'm not calling you crazy. No, I, don't say I that. Know, I know. I know. Anytime you have a staff like that, look. I always say this. Look at the last five World Series winners. They all, all of them, have one through four that they can throw at any time. Mm -hmm. And not yeah. every team has that, and 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 I get it. Like they're they're some of them are a little older, but anytime you add that kind of experience to a, to already potent rotation, I am I feel the same exact way, Robert. You're right. I'm worried defensively, D Row, though, about that team. I'm, I'm worried. worried. How they're gonna, I'm worried how they're going to score runs on a nightly basis. I love the, I love the team. Trey Turner, Juan Soto. I like the Kyle Schwarber bring in. I really do. I just I. That division so stacked. I don't think people really realize how good the Mets are going. The Mets basically took Ahmed Rosario and Wilson Ramos and replaced them with Lindor and McCann. I mean, that's huge up there. Yep. So fair. they're going to be nasty. The Braves are going to be nasty. Philly's going to have an axe to grind with Joe Girardi and a better bullpen. And you are not going to play a three, four game set against the Marlins and think you're just going to win that. That's mm. a very good point. That's a very oh. good point. Oh, I, that, that division, woof, that's a bear. Saw the episode of Impractical Jokers with you and Peyton trying to even. It's funny, a quick story on that, Adam. Um, I'm one of the first people in the building because our show's so early with Lauren and Robert. When I walked through, through the studio, I was like, there's way too many people here and way too many people here that I don't recognize. So my guard was a tick up for the rest of the day. 
<laughs> when we did it, I kind of was like, ooh, this is a setup. Carlos had no idea. So my reaction <laughs> was kind of the I kind of knew something was going on. All right, let's get back to the game here. And uh, for that, for our next round of trivia, let's bring in a special guest. He is the new host of Intentional Talk, Stephen Nelson. And remember, (laughs) IT IT gets the day started on opening day, 9 a.m. Eastern, and that leads us right into MLB Central. Stephen, congratulations on the new gig, man. Thank you, guys. So I, I miss you guys in my life. I, I, Roflo, I've seen you around the building. Shahadi, we're right next door to each other. You can't escape me. You're an I angel. On Dero, I, I'm, the building is, I've told you this in the bath. Well, I, I don't need to tell you where I told you that. <laughs> Could have left that part out of the story. But I've told you that the building is better. The network is better when you're in it and when you're on it. So I can't wait for Central to come back opening day. And Roflo, you really built up the special guest. and then. My stupid face pops up, and then viewership is plummeting. So let's just go. Yeah, through let's this. let's just plow through. Hey, Jeremy Tony, with a nice little uh, comment from YouTube. Welcome aboard. Steven. Steven. Thank you so awesome. much. Congrats! I haven't gotten a chance to say congratulations. Thank you, Dero. Uh, we're gonna then, we're gonna be golfing now. We're golfing now. And I heard you're pretty darn good. Yeah, oh, see, I again, that. Just yeah. like special, we're overvaluing my actual I've skills. Made a, I, I've committed this season to my golf game. So when the oh, earpiece God. comes out, oh. no, when the earpiece comes out, I am pot committed to incre- getting better at my short game. I am going to be selfish in that. Well, I saw- uh, I've been playing a lot of PGA Tour 2K on, on PlayStation 5, and I've gotten really good at, at that golf game. So uh, I'm with you. I'm, I'm committed to, to golf as well. I will say during the pandemic, I do have five solo dubs on Fortnite. So if that's. Whoa. I like that. that. Look out. Zero taking over. Um, No, I see what you're talking about. Take it away, Steven. Yeah, so I could stop ruining your show. Um, I have some trivia, not Jason Stark, but let's give this a shot. Who is the only player in MLB history to hit a walk off inside the park? Grand slam. Think about Oof. all the things that have to happen. Walk off inside the park, home run, grand slam. Only I'm going to uh, disqualify myself because I know the answer. It's a good one. That, that's, see, just like golf. Can you, for you give us like a year? Can you give us a time frame? Let's just, it's a, th- it's a throwback. And of all the shows that should know the answer to this question, it's MLB Central. It's mm. a very good hint. Very good hint. Carlos Gomez. Mm. Mm. Throwback. A few throwbacks. A little farther. Sean, a little Casey. farther. Sean Casey. Yeah, a little further. One, one, of the, one of the greats. Again, th- just think about Central. You walk into the building, you're heading. Roberto Clemente. Hey, let's go. Boom. Studio so believe, now we're even on the big tote board yeah. at yeah. two. Mark DeRosa, two. Lauren Shahadi, two. All right, Stephen, you've got a couple of more questions. Yes, question number two. There are two players who have the most gold gloves as an outfielder. Name one of them. Andrew Jones. No, but I love Andrew Jones, and I think he should get more Hall of Fame run than he's gotten. I don't get it, but that's another conversation for another day. I'm with you. Willie Mays. It's funny. The second you said that, I was like, Lorenzo Cain just got one, and I'm so – that's – Willie Mays. So unfair too. Boom. Who did, who did you say? I didn't hear you. Willie Mays. Okay, Lauren, there is one more. There's one more. You can keep this tied. Like present day? No. Again. Say Mickey Mantle or something like Wait, that. Wait. One of the, one of the, the goats. Um, Isn't it funny? You know this stuff, but you draw a complete yes. – No, I don't know this. No, Answer don't. it in, in real time. Think about the first question. Think about the first question. Roberto Clemente. Yes. Got it. Yes. You got it. Okay. Lord, I'm 12. I am falling. 12? 12. 12 each for both Roberto Clemente. Mark DeRosa has opened up a 4 2 lead on Lauren here. Oh, it's over. <laughs> what? Bonus question. Is, Bonus what? question. Go ahead. 
No, go ahead, Lauren. What, what do you? I was gonna yeah. say, does the winner get like a plate, like fill, like what do we? Ooh. What do? You get nothing and you'll like it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you get what you get and you don't get upset. That's right. Okay, bonus question: What year did one Robert Flores join Central as a co-host? What? Two thousand sixteen. I'm gonna know this. No. Two thousand fifteen. We started the show. I retired in 12. I did one year of Gen Pop, 13, and then bang. 2015, 2017, 2017, 2017. Maddie that's incorrect. For two years, 2016. Mm, that's incorrect. I said 2015 and 17. Yeah. You're 2018? It seems like forever. Holy moly, look how fat I was. Hey, <laughs> Robert, let's let's be honest, dude. I see it. The boxing real flow. It's you the look great. He, you do. You look great. Yeah. Put that put that put, put that, that uh, picture back up. Put that picture. Look at that. I mean, wow. Again, what is it, real flow? It's boxing, it's 13 hours of napping and another nine. nine well, yeah, years. I mean it, it, it's about uh 10 to 13 hours of uh of sleep. What's and, your secret? Uh you know, a lot of a lot of cardio, a lot of cardio, and then Pardon. sweet, he sweet only eats protein and veggies, and then one day he goes nuts with cookie cake. That's, that's right. That's, that's right. Lionel <laughs> says uh winner Lionel. gets to steal a bobblehead out of Lionel, Matt's too office. late, honey. So that's what we've that's what we're that's what we're going for. Uh, I got that, by the way. That goes. Into <laughs> okay. So, what does that bring our score? Hey, there, Sean. Four to three. Four to three. Hey, Stephen. Congratulations on the new gig, man. We can't wait for uh, for a new season of uh, you and Millar, and it gets started nine a.m. Eastern, oh. setting the whole day up for us uh, on Thursday. No, Nelly doesn't get up early. Yes, thank you, Stephen. Yes. Kevin, Kevin's been a good friend for a long time. He can be a bully and, and pushy. You need to push back. Right? I, ain't, I ain't scared of one five. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't scared, I ain't scared of lump man. I ain't scared of lump man. Hey, but Lauren's right. I am not a morning person. She has given me her tips, a lot of food to get the energy. Uh, D Row and Roflo, do you have anything to help somebody who's not a morning person get the engines revved up? A little diet DP didn't hurt anybody. You wrong? There you go. I'll say celery juice. I know that, and I, I've tried it, and it's just not. It's just not for me. Give you eat breakfast. I do. A, I, I I say that. That's my huge thing. I ask a lot of questions, but I I eat like a full breakfast every day, and it kind of gives me energy in the morning to get at least to three or four o'clock. I yeah. like that. I like that. Thank you guys for letting me crash the party. I can't you wait. Got it. To have Central back on there, y'all are the best. Love you. All right. We'll see you Thursday, Stephen. Goodbye. All right, that's uh, Stephen Nelson, the uh, new co-host for Intentional Talk, and we can't wait to, uh, to get the season started with him and Millar. Once again, they're getting the day started on Thursday, 9 a.m. Eastern, and then that leads us into us, 10 a.m. Eastern, MLB Central season premiere on Thursday for opening day. Okay. So this is where we uh, test your uh, artistic acumen. You guys ready? Hello? You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. So let's see here. Uh, we're going to have the – okay. It, what are you guys – I don't even know what you're drawing here. Oh, you're drawing – okay. You're drawing the crushed red velvet. We have a video montage for them to draw along to. It's the crushed – Red velvet. Let's see if you can uh, replicate that with your. All right. Here we go. He's one of the greatest literary minds of our generation, and he's opening up his library for a sneak peek of his upcoming works. This is Row Flow's Book Club. Uh, Chasing Trash is also the name of my <laughs> upcoming book. I couldn't get a couldn't hold it correctly. By the way, that's the name of my upcoming book, <laughs> Choking Up Hot. By the way, Sitting on the Throne, the name of my upcoming autobiography. <laughs> name of my upcoming book, a whole lot of meat on this bone. Soft Contact, the name of my upcoming book. The title of my autobiography is also Soft Interest. By the way, Petrified Wood, also the name of my upcoming book. <laughs> Soft Away, the title of my upcoming book. It combo. tastes like an overrated piece of meat. It's a combo. Meat. Which, by the way, is the upcoming title combo of meat. my uh, autobiography. By the way, oh, here we Smidge go. Thick is the title of my upcoming book. 
welcome to Roflow's Book Club. I feel like we feel like we need to reshoot that. You know, you're talking about reshooting the open, D Row? Bro, like, you do that is hilarious. Wow. Okay, so Lauren. Uh, hey Lauren, Lauren, I think you have your mic on mute. Okay, that's actually pretty good, Lauren. We can't hear you, but we can see you. See what you're drawing there. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I, I don't know why your mic isn't working. And that, it, wow, that has some very uh, pretty good detail there from. Uh, There's a couple from, pillows in there too. Yeah. I mean, it, it's very, very, very good. Okay, so um, you guys are going to decide uh, who drew it the best. All right, so we're going to give you. Uh, we, we're going to put it on a poll on Twitch. Okay. We're going to leave the poll up for about five minutes for you guys to vote who drew the crushed red velvet the best. And Lauren, why is your mic not working? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Why am I in the apartment complex and I seem to be getting, I know your, your signal and equipment is, has been holding steady. Uh, all right. So let's see if, if you're not a Twitch voter, okay. If you're not on Twitch, you can just comment wherever you're, you know, whatever you're watching, wherever you're watching is from in either Dero or Lauren and decide out who drew it the best. Brian, uh, comes in very nice Dero and it's Lauren by far. Okay. So that's one vote. David on Facebook says Lauren drew it the best. Uh, we got a couple of more here. Uh, Jake. Jake. Jake says he wrote the course, Jake. best. Okay. Keep those votes coming. If you're on Twitch, there is a poll up. If you're not on Twitch, just go ahead and comment wherever you're watching us from, and we'll tally the vote uh, that way. Shannon K. West says Dero. Shannon. Another vote there as the, uh, the tallies are going to start coming in. Brian says Shahadi. Another vote for Lauren. This one from Adam. Stop the count. Stop the count. <laughs> All right. Dero is good, says Rob, but Lauren wins. Rob weighing in on Facebook. By the way, I'm, I'm familiar with a lot of these Facebook viewers. Big Rich. Big Rich. Rich says Dero. Big Rich knows. All right. Dero's. Yes. Clyde says Dero won because Lauren's mic doesn't work. I like your pettiness, Clyde. I like where your head's at. <laughs> I like it. He's just angry that Lauren's mic doesn't work. Um, let's see. And then I think that's about it. Okay. Oh, and Lauren, are you back? Yeah, yeah, there you go. I don't know why. Okay. Good. I don't know why either. Hey, Jeremy. Thank you. All right. Very good. All right. So we'll tally those votes in just a second. Uh, now let's move on to round number five. I believe this is our last round. I know you guys wish there were five more, uh, <laughs> but this is our last one. Okay. Now, each of, you, each of you guys will be played a video clue that will be paused before the answer is revealed. You each get two tries. One point for a correct answer. Dero, you're first. Your first question comes from August of 2020 when we were talking with Tigers outfielder Jacoby Jones. Let's see what we have here. All right. Let's see. Did I totally screw this up? That might be possible. Let's see. Oh, oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. What did you have for breakfast? That's what it is. Okay. So what did Jacoby Jones answer with? You answer, You asked him, what did he have for breakfast? He asked. You know what's, he answered, you know what's said? What I took away from that, because I remember that interview. Okay. <laughs> First off, he's a stud. I did 30-30 with him, and he talked about keeping his hat brim super low in Comerica to keep the sun out of his eyes, which I thought was super interesting. And I don't remember when we had him on. I, I believe he's not a huge breakfast guy, if I remember. Okay. Okay. Maybe a cup of joe. He, he's definitely healthy, but I, he wasn't feeling that question. Okay. All right. Let's hear it. Uh-oh. And we're... I had an omelet and watermelon. Ooh. And a Slim Jim. What, what was a Slim Jim? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Step into a Slim Jim. You gotta, yeah. You got to eat the Slim Jims for breakfast. That's the protein, man. That's the protein. That's it's it. all about that. All right. 
So I've never had a Slim Jim in my life. What? Not really? one in my life. I've never. It looks like it's just meat that stands in a gas station <laughs> for like years, yeah. and years and years. That's what makes it awesome. It's like beef. Yeah, it's beef jerky. Yeah, never done. Okay, so I don't think we ought to, Dero, I don't think you get a point there. No, that's a donut. You don't yeah. think. Okay, Lauren, yes. your first question comes from Hot Stove in November of 2019. Okay, classically famous. How are you? Uh, let's see. Uh, you were asking, wait, what, what is Lauren asking here? Oh, oh, you asked Dero. What did he have for breakfast? Okay. Yeah. What did Zero respond with? Ooh. He had, oh gosh. When was this? I'm going to, it says uh, November of 2019. So a couple of years ago. He usually has some sort of eggs with bacon and, or sausage. Okay. And, Taylor ham? And, Taylor and ham coffee. in there? No, he didn't have that and coffee. Okay. All right. All right. Or let's hear what the answer was in November of 2019. What did Zero have for breakfast? Just got done. I had a pineapple and kale smoothie, and then I had three eggs scrambled with See, a little hash brown. You're changing your life. And obviously, every off season, TV 12. Here we go. I already feel. I already feel the stress. Like a off. million bucks. Have fun yeah. on Wednesday, yeah. Dero. Thanks again, I man. Will. Kale smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I don't care what it tastes. That's right. He doesn't care what it That's tastes. That's very bougie of you. The kale smoothie. How are those? <laughs> kale is is very. Um, Bitter. bitter, bitter is the word, but I, it ain't about that. It ain't about that. It's about being healthy. cleaning the system. Yeah, right. Just start the day. Don't reduce. No one like loves it, but it ain't terrible. I got right. three point five. Okay. Yeah. So Lauren is a half point back of Mark DeRosa here in this very important yet somehow meaningless uh, <laughs> trivia game. Uh, Dero leads four to three and a half. All right, uh, Dero, you're back up. Your second question from July of 2020. So just this past season, when we spoke to Robbie Ray, at the time he was with the Diamondbacks, later uh, finished the season with the Toronto Blue Jays. What did he have for breakfast? Do you remember? I remember this. <laughs> you better cut your nails. They're not bad. I just cut them. Bad. Bad. Oh, they look good. Look good. Breakfast sandwich, I'm saying he went with it. Show me breakfast sandwich. I got to start. <laughs> uh, had some eggs and bacon, some uh, sweet potato hash browns, and Ooh. threw a little wrinkle in there, uh, peanut butter and jelly. Ooh. Mm. No butter. I'm not a sweet potato guy. How dare Ow. you? I'm no sweet Ow. potato fries? Ow. How dare Give you? Give me the regular ones. Really? How dare you? like you truffle fries? the good it, name of sweet potatoes. I, I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> <laughs> Our show is too so much. Good. It's so <laughs> good, though. It's so good how we got into like a brief, serious conversation <laughs> about sweet potatoes. just hanging out while we're talking about uh, It's funny. I'm going to keep track of that now. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know. Needless to say, we have to do this again because it's going so well. We just need to do it this time next year. Okay. Lauren, your yeah. second question comes from this past February. Hot stove, February of 2020. All right? Okay. You once again asked Dero what he had for breakfast. What can he tell you? An egg Sammy of some sort. That's what he has. That he's a liar. That kale smoothie was a lie. No, it wasn't. Okay. No, no. I know it wasn't a lie, but it was like a one-off. Show me egg sandwich. I made myself a breakfast burrito. I took a little bit of uh, some steak and some chicken. I grilled that up with a little earth balance butter. I grilled. Uh, <laughs> I had a couple scrambled eggs. I put it in a nice corn tortilla with a little hot sauce. And away we go. Are you, are you in and shape, D Row? Are, are, are you? Are what you are we benching these what? days, D Row? What are we doing? Because I know you're hitting the gym too. I hired a new trainer. I got oh, into an interesting go. workout. <laughs> And I'm big on, I'm going to push celery juice even harder than I pushed it last year. First thing you should have in the morning, oh, 16 Lord. ounces of celery juice. Okay. Uh, you, you have to have that yeah. celery juice by yourself, that, So, what, so what, that, what, that tells me you're in shape because you've been sprinting to the bathroom. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Harold brings up a good point. I mean, you must be 
so regular. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> no, I think it's just like anything, right? I don't, I don't know. Certain things work for certain people. I don't think everybody's genetically. Tony, you're right. What's Tony. that? Tony's right. Yeah. Tony uh, says kale smoothie is a scam. That's from Facebook. What are you? Where are you? I'm, I'm going to fight her on that. I'm okay. All right. Uh, I'm not going to sit there and eat a kale salad. I'm not going to sit there and eat an apple. But if someone makes me a smoothie, I'm crushing it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have a change atop the leaderboard. But before we get out of here, bonus question. Okay. All right. Now, can anyone, if anyone can remember what Lauren had for breakfast back in October of 2020. I eat the same thing every day. They get a point. Me? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is for both of you. You can each get a point depending on the oh, answer. Twenty twenty, though, w w you were we on set, all of us together? Well, th this is you're on the road in October. Yeah, of you're on the road where we were interviewing you from that when you wouldn't change super secret place. quarantine location. Robert. Yes, that's right. Your super secret location. You ordered. I, I had eggs. eggs. Yeah, there was definitely eggs. Maybe some eggs. sliced avocado. No, I don't like avocado. I don't like the texture. It was an English <laughs> muffin. English muffin with eggs um, and chai tea latte. Okay. Dero? I'm going to go with what she said. Okay. So they're both going with whatever. She didn't get a chai tea latte. Though. Chai tea latte. I'm out on that. Not, not a fan. Huh? Have you had it? No, I haven't, but I can just tell that it's just something that I would not like. So, <laughs> all right, show me whatever she had plus the chai tea latte. Breakfast. I haven't had breakfast yet. It's early. That's not that. I had oh, a little bit of pineapple and a protein bar, but I'm going to order some eggs, bacon, English muffin with butter, and that's and then, probably it. And then go on, like, dive into and the And then notes. chai tea latte. And dive away into we go. the notes. Yeah, uh, yeah that's some notes. All right, so both of you are winning. winner, winner, chicken dinner, honey. winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, so the only piece of business we have left is to finally tally up the votes and decide who is the winner. Remember, we had people voting on your artistic skills. Uh, we were the, the the results were coming in fast and furious. Uh, where do we stand? Hey, Ron, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Can't wait to see you guys kick off MLB Central. Ron from Facebook, thank you. All right, so let's see those drawings one more time, just so we can get a little bit of a refresher. On uh, Once again, we the task was for you guys to draw the MLB Central set as best you could. So if you guys could hold up, once again, your, your artistic right work. Right now? Yes, please. I mean, there's no reason for us to be here any longer. Hey, baseball, Vic42. Thank you. All right. So once again, how can she? And according to our very scientific poll, Lauren Shahadi wins the point. Let's, so, uh, let's honestly. I know no one cares. But I know. I, I honestly think you win too. But I am up one, so it doesn't. Yeah. I, I'm I'm with you, Dero. I like your detail. You had some some almost a three dimensional feel to your drawing. What I was going for, Robert. <laughs> kid, you could do. I love it. So once again, our final score, it's Lauren Shahadi, six and a half. Mark DeRosa checking in with four and a half. I think I speak for all of us when I say, I'm ready to do this again tomorrow. What say, what say you? What say no, you? No, I go to sleep at six o'clock. This is yeah. too late for me. I got to come up with some predictions. So all right. right. I hate doing that more than Josiah. Ever. Good to see you on YouTube. Thank you very much. Okay. d give me a bold prediction for 2021. Go. Anaheim plays in the wild card game. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's a good one. What do you think, Lauren? Lauren, I don't totally believe it, but I gotta, I gotta push something. Flaherty wins Cy Young. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. Very good. Eric, thank you for those kind yeah. words. Hopefully, we could do some, uh, some more uh, live streams at a later date. Sean, good to see you. Uh, Paul Severino, Sean, uh -oh. you know Sean is a fan of the show when he brings in the Paul Severino <laughs> reference. Says Paul Severino is the drawing winner. That was just the best moment in, and I think our show's history. Is that the best moment in our show's history? No. Paul Severino drawing the guitar, and it looked like something other than a guitar. It's up there. If it's not the best, it's so good. 
God, do yourselves a favor, people. Pull that up on YouTube. <laughs> just pull it up on YouTube and you, you'll just die. So, hey, uh, let's, uh, before we, okay, so we're out of here. So, 10 a.m. <laughs> 10 a.m. Eastern on Thursday. Remember, tomorrow, Lauren is hosting Women in Baseball. That's at 7 o'clock Eastern. And then our prediction show comes your way at 9 o'clock Eastern. So, those are both on the network on Wednesday. And then on Thursday. 9 a.m. Eastern. Intentional Talk gets the day started. And then it's us, 10 a.m. Eastern. We're back on the Crush Red Velvet. Guys, it was great to see you again. And I can't wait to see you in person on Thursday. Can't wait. Let's do it. Yep. All right, guys. Hey, have a good one. See you, later. See you later, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Thank you. Good morning. This is MLB Central. The homer and 3RVI in last night's win. Welcome to the big leagues. He's got all the tools. Boom. Two of the best offenses. Back at it tonight. That's how you begin a season. 